Welcome to Breathe Better with Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about histamine. I'm sure you've heard of it, but you might not know what it is. And so I'm just going to go over histamine and how it affects you if you have a hard time breathing. So I'm going to give you the technical term for it first. It's an organic nitrogenous compound involved in immune response. Okay? And I put over here an immune response typically is an inflammatory response. So, the problem with this is that it can cause inflammation anywhere in your body. So, inflammation in your lungs is going to, well, actually in your lungs and in your mucosa is going to increase mucus as well as increase bronchoconstriction if it's in your lungs. So, what that means is if you have a lot of histamine in your body and you have what is typically thought of as maybe an allergic response, you're going to have inflammation, you're gonna have increased mucus, and you're gonna have bronchoconstriction, which means you will definitely have a harder time breathing. So, what can you do about this? You wanna avoid triggers. So, everybody is a little bit different when it comes to what causes them to have a reaction to where they have shortness of breath if they are around certain things. So the best thing to do to um, find out your triggers is just to keep a diary, a daily diary. Note what you do during the day. You can write down what you eat. And if you also wanna write down how you're breathing that day. And then that way you can kind of figure out Oh, you know, every time I go out to work in the yard, I tend to have a harder time breathing later that night. You know, maybe I'm allergic to something in the yard, that kind of thing. So um, you want to avoid your triggers, whatever they might be. You also want to ask your doctor about taking an antihistamine. Now, these are over the counter, but I still don't recommend that you start taking anything at all unless you talk to your doctor because um, they know what medicines you're on, they know you and anything that you might be dealing with. So um, always ask your doctor, but they are over the counter. And then there are actually certain foods that contain histamine, okay? And um, this is something that actually surprised me because I did not know that, but dairy and processed meats both contain histamine. So um, this is something that I talk about all the time anyway. Dairy can increase mucus production. I don't recommend that you drink dairy or eat dairy if you do have a breathing problem of any kind. And then the processed meats, a lot comes with them too. So, um, you know, a lot of people have a hard time cutting dairy out completely. So if you can limit it, it is going to help. The processed meats, um, if you can get those out of your diet, I would just do it because there are lots of things that um, are in processed meats that are kind of bad for your body. So, um, this is kind of histamine in a nutshell and how it affects you and your lungs. Um, as always, if you have any questions, just drop them down in the box. And if there's anything that you all wanna know about that maybe you want me to do a video on, you can also drop that in the box. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, just subscribe so other people can find my videos easier. And um, that's it until next time. Thanks.